Say, Tony. Good morning, Hannah. Happy Friday morning to everyone. No surprise here, the debate over equal pay in U.S. soccer continues today after five superstars from the reigning Women's World Cup Championship team found the wage discrimination action against the U.S. Soccer Federation. Now, the Federation is hitting back, saying the players signed the collective bargaining agreement determining their pay. Renowned sports attorney Jeffrey Kessler, who is representing the players, spoke earlier on Mike and Mike about the breakdown between the Federation and the players. Anthony at the Collins with you. Basketball and soccer, two things that don't necessarily lend themselves to comparison, but Barcelona and Golden State are doing just that. Two sports, two different continents, but more alike than you think. The Warriors are 68-5 and and chasing an NBA record 73 wins this season. Barcelona is on a 39-match unbeaten streak, a Spanish club record. How about stars? Lionel Messi, one goal shy of 500 for his career and has 26% of Barcelona's goals, while Steph Curry scores 25% of the Warriors' points. Now, neither star does it alone, though. No NBA trio has more points this season than Curry, Draymond Green, and Clay Thompson. And Messi, Neymar, and Luis Suarez have combined for 69 goals. That tops in La Liga. And can add also that to that total on Saturday's Clásico against El Real Madrid. 89 tackles and a sack in three playoff games this postseason, becoming the first player in NFL history to return interceptions for touchdowns in consecutive postseason games. David? <laughs> yeah. Hi, Tony. Tika. I'm going to miss you, lovey. Ooh. All right. Do your best. Take over. Thank you. Take All over. Right. Let's talk some baseball. Talk some baseball. <laughs> Yankee slugger Alex Rodriguez had what many would call a Cinderella season in 2015, coming off a full year suspension for PED use. He led the team with 33 home. Jim Beheim is already a Hall of Fame coach. We know that. You know that. Suspended nine games this season for essentially looking the other way. So here's the question. Does it seem like Beheim is getting a pass on the eve of the Final Four? Welcome to Be Honest, and that is your question. Um, yeah, he is getting a bit of a pass, but, you know, we gave a kid this or did this, but you did a lot of things that make people question your integrity. It was a reason why they had to sit you down, which you know the NCAA. Without argument, one of the stars of he college basketball. He is Syracuse. So does that feel to you, or perhaps the way he's responding to these questions, a sense of entitlement? I, I think so. And no, I didn't tell him to do this. All of a sure. sudden, they're detached from it. And so I just think there just needs to be more accountability in general. We see it time and time again, especially with the coaches who are the faces of the program. On the other side of the ball, there's Roy Williams. Uh, allegations against UNC aren't about this year's team, so we wanted to make that clear. But it is about the way they handled academics in relation to the program from 93 to 2011. That's a sustained period of time. Many of those years under Roy Williams. So does this affect his legacy or how the college basketball coaches who are the faces of a program in terms of showing that you can't get away with that or you can't use I wasn't really monitoring the program or the look away well, air pocket. All right, that's well said. Jamel Hill from His and Hers, thank you so much for joining us. This is um, our last Be Honest in Studio in Bristol. Shall we hug and cry or what should we do? No, we'll save the tears because we'll we know tears. you'll still be great and you'll still be on our air. It's, and it's 85 degrees you. in California, so. See, I'm going to block you on Twitter. I can see all this already. Don't post any sunny pictures. All right, I'm going to do that. David, you'll miss me, no? Jamel, it's just beginning. <laughs> 